Hi everyone, this is uh, the last part for the marketing plan, which is writing the marketing strategies, which is the second part of the content of the marketing plan. So the first one would be the market research, which I discussed in a previous video. And this is the second half, which is the marketing strategies or four Ps. So the four Ps, ito yung pinaka-basic natin, okay? Because there is like a 12 piece or 6 piece. So, this one, yun naman ay nag-evolve na lang coming from the 4 piece. So, here, for basis lang of writing a comprehensive market plan, we focus on the product, price, place, and promotion. Now, the common mistake I see in business plan papers of the undergraduate student, I, when they discuss this 4 piece, they just describe the product. The product is a multi-purpose uh, trinket box, uh, etc. So, kapag ginawa mo yun, you are not in the right track. Because this is not a description of the product, but product strategy. So, meaning, how did you strategize using the characteristics of your product? This is not price. You do not say, okay, the price is 99.99 .99 cents per piece. And that's it. No. That is the price per se, but this is pricing strategy. So, how did you use the price to penetrate your market? Okay. So, this is not the place or manufacturing site or retail site. Our, our, our product can be seen in SM department store or we're going to uh, retail it in the small uh, boutique stores. Do not just mention the place, but discuss why you chose to sell it in boutique stores, okay, or in boutiques. Or why did you choose SM to be the uh, distribution channel? So, something like that. So, hindi para sabihin lang kung saan or kung ano ang uh, place, kung hindi, hindi discuss mo bakit mo decide na ang, ang iyong placement strategy or place strategy ay ganyan. And then promotion, hindi nyo pwedeng i-discuss lang na 50%, ano, let's say 50% off in the first 6 months. Yun ay, dinescribe mong yung promotion, but kailangan mong i-discuss and justify why is that the best promotional strategy for your business considering your competition. Okay? So, review what I just said and uh, when you start writing the marketing strategy, please do not define or do not answer what is the product, what is the price, what is the place, what is the promotion. No. Explain kung what is your product strategy, what is your pricing strategy, what is your place strategy, and what is your promotion strategy. So, these are marketing tools. Alright? First is the product. So, when I say you discuss the product and do not just describe the product, you need to discuss its variety, its quality, its design, its specific or unique features, the brand name and why you chose that kind of brand name, the packaging and the services. Okay, when I say packaging here, it's not about it is a plastic or it is a cellophane or it is made of a box. No, it is packaging strategy. Yes, you can mention that, but are you selling it uh, three in a bundle? Are you selling it, for example, na seven in a bundle, one for Monday, one for Tuesday, one for Wednesday, and so on and so forth? Or maybe something else in terms of packaging. So not just the physical packaging, but bundling of your, of your, uh, uh, your product or your service. Okay? Sorry, moving on. Price. Okay? You can tell us the list price. But you should also dis, uh, uh, discuss the discounts, the allowances, the payment period, and credit terms when you discuss your pricing. So later on, I'm going to discuss that price is not just the price of the actual product, but the cost to the customer of getting hold of your product or service. So meaning, hindi lang naman yung mismong uh, binayad ko na 99.99 cents ang actual cost sometimes ng product na binili ko. Kung hindi, there are other costs uh, associated with it. So, make sure that you discuss it here in pricing. Did I get more value than the 99.99 uh, pesos I paid? You also discuss it here. Alright? Or, uh, did I pay a lot more than the actual value of the product? And why is that? You discuss it here. 
Now, in terms of place, so again, as I mentioned, this is not your manufacturing site and this is not your, your distribution, site, uh, distribution site, although that can be a strategy. But here, we're looking for a more detailed discussion of your placement strategy, like the channels of distribution, the coverage of uh, where you're going to sell, the assortment, the locations where they can buy their product, inventory, transportation, and logistics. Okay, I'll give a more detailed here when I go to the 4C because uh, meron tong counterpart na 4C. And then the promotion. Here, you have to discuss your advertising strategy, personal selling strategy, sales promotion strategy, and public relations. So, sabi nga natin, marami na kasing nagko-comment talaga na ang 4 piece is very limited. So, that's why uh, we like to look deeper and... Uh, uh, assess it from the perspective of the customers because the four piece is from the perspective of the firm all right so putting both together we have the four c's so instead of product you look at customer solutions or c customer solutions so customers want to buy value or a solution to their problem so when you discuss your product Okay, that's the first P. Do not just talk of the actual physical characteristic, but how the product solves the need of your customers. Okay, diba mas maganda yon? Customer cost, not price. So this is what I'm talking about. It's not just about the 100 pesos I gave to the seller. Okay, look at it from the perspective of the customer. When I gave you the 100, did I really just get the value of 100 in return? Or did I get much more value? from me getting the uh, uh, the benefits of your product. Customers want to know the total cost of acquiring it, using and disposing of the product. Okay? So, tingnan yun. So, acquiring, cost of acquiring, using, and disposing. Yan, ang mga concerns na ngayon ng mga customers. Hindi lang yung, ah, okay, mura nga. Ipaparosahan e, naman ako ng pag... ng... Uh, making sure that it is uh, properly disposed, for example, maybe the packaging is too big, it would cost me to haul it, or maybe using it would require me another product to, to accompany it, and that would be more expensive. So see, if uh, the actual cost of using your product is below the actual price value or way above the actual price I paid for your business, uh, for, your, uh, for your product, I mean. So, convenience, not place. O, oh, ba? So, hindi yung, uh, okay, uh, mabibenta ito sa, uh, sa lipa. Sa lipa ko ito ibebenta. So, I mean, if I'm from Batangas City and you targeted me as your target market, ba? So, ang hirap ng hindi mo ina-accrue uh, ina yung iba pang mga cost to acquiring the, the product. So, convenience. Customers wants products and services to be as convenient, uh, convenient to purchase as possible. So, uh, kapag inanalyze mo ito, hindi lang yung mismong uh, physical store. Kasi baka merong uh, 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 substitute na uh, pwede kong sa online na bilhin. So, paano kung mas madali kung sa online na lang ako bumili? So, uh, do you, would you uh, opt to have your product sold online as well? So, tingnan ninyo at itatanong niya ito sa inyong questionnaire. Alright? So, itong paano uh, yung, yung location kung saan convenient para sa customers mo bumili, alamin mo sa kanila kung okay lang na makita ito sa, sa, sa public market or sa mall uh, or would they want to see this online. Okay? So, communication and not promotion. So, customers wants a two-way communication with the companies that make the product. So, after sales service or customer service is very, very important. So, yung promotion mo, mga buy one, take one, pero uh, wala naman ako makausap kapag ginagamit ko na siya at nagkaroon ng problema, then uh, sometimes a uh, customer might opt to buy something a little more expensive or something with a premium, pero alam nila na they can return it or they can sell it. I mean, not sell it, return it or they can call someone from the sales team or the customer uh, service uh, department of the company who can assist them uh, during a certain period of consuming the product. So, tingnan ninyo kung yung inyong uh, nature ng inyong business would require after-sales service. 
Okay? So, hopefully, yung mga points na, na binanggit ko ay makatulong sa inyo in writing a more proactive uh, marketing plan. Okay? So, take note din na do not forget na meron kayong implementation. Alright? You will really sell this and you would really promote it and you would really create the product for the customer. So, do not just uh, create a product for the sake of of having your thesis one approved. Create a product that would really, you know, make people buy it. Because that's the easiest way to go about this particular activity. No? When people are not forced to buy it, they bought, they bought it because of its value uh, or value for money and they would really want to recommend it for uh, to their friends for future purchase. So, good luck with the writing of the marketing plan.